I'm going to continue today looking at the account of Hannah in 1 Samuel chapter 1. And we're going to look today at the response of Eli the priest to his encounter with Hannah when she was praying. Starting in verse 12, it says, Now it came about, as she continued praying before the Lord, that Eli was watching her mouth. As for Hannah, she was speaking in her heart, only her lips were moving, but her voice was not heard. So Eli thought she was drunk. Then Eli said to her, how long will you make yourself drunk? Put away your wine from you. But Hannah replied, no, my Lord, I am a woman oppressed in spirit. I have drunk neither wine nor strong drink, but I have poured out my soul before the Lord. Do not consider your maidservant as a worthless woman, for I have spoken until now out of my great concern and provocation. And I think when we look at Eli's response to Hannah, we see that he took a look at Hannah, saw her distress, saw her moving her mouth, and he made an assumption about her. It reminds me of Proverbs 3, 5, which says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. It seems that Eli, even though he was the high priest at the time, he leaned on his own understanding. He looked at the evidence as he understood it and made an assumption about Hannah. And when he confronted her with that assumption, it caused her more grief and pain. So I would encourage us today to take some time to reflect on how we evaluate other people, on what assumptions we make about the people around us. Do we look at the evidence as we understand it in our human mind or, and lean on our own understanding rather than trusting God? And then make some sort of judgment that might result in us wrongly um, making, making wrong assumptions about other people. That might result in us adding to someone's pain. The next verse in Proverbs 3 verse 6 says, In all your ways acknowledge him, that is God, and he will direct your paths. The idea is that we are not to be people who lean on our own understanding, our own judgment, who just rely on what our senses um, understand, but that we are to rely on the Holy Spirit to help us get discernment, to help us get wisdom, to help us get understanding. Eli, even though he was a religious leader, um, failed to do that. And in failing to do that, he caused pain. Let's not follow his example.